Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mama Sheba. Where is she? She's gonna stay right behind me. Uh-uh. You stay out. Stay out. Oh, yeah. I'm in here changing out the baby bed. And uh, I lay the babies out on the side on a little fleece mat while I swap it out. And I started putting them back before I thought, well, we'll go ahead and do the video. And Mama was sitting behind me while I'm working, cleaning things up and just changing her pads, uh, the floor pads uh, and all. Mamas are messy for a while after having babies, so I change them out every day or as needed. Hopefully it'll start getting where it's not needed as often, but right now it is. So I wanted to show all our babies. This is Jacob, our black masked fawn boy, the biggest one. I weighed them all yesterday. Oh, I don't have, yeah, I do. Yesterday, he weighed, he, he weighed one pound and two ounces. And they're, today's Thursday, they'll be a week old tomorrow. And then this was our little black masked fawn boy, Jordan. And yesterday he weighed 14.8 ounces. So he's almost a pound. I bet he's probably a pound today. And I bet Jacob is bigger than that, huh? So that's Jacob and Jordan, two, two full-on black masked fawn boys that are available. And even though uh, Jacob was born the largest and is looking larger, he may, he may uh, outgrow the rest of them. They'll probably all level out about the same weight by the time they're eight weeks old, certainly by the time they're 10 to 12 weeks old. I've seen in my litters before, we would have uh, one that was weighing are growing faster than the rest and but they all seem to catch up and they all end up weighing approximately the same mom and dad are both just under 25 pounds so depends on how many treats they have in any given week <laughs> that they might hit 25 Jericho hits 25 Sheba usually is 22 23 and uh, I haven't put her on the scales since she was pregnant. She got up to 30 pounds when pregnant. But she did have five good-sized babies. And this is our little fawn, our red fawn boy, Jax. Let's look at Jax, Mama. Let's, you let me see Jax. Ha-ha, uh ha-ha. -uh, uh -uh. That's why I was keeping you out so we could get some good shots at the babies. Jax is a beautiful red fawn, beautiful haggerty dot, full on white collars, white front legs, back feet. Hey, where are you going there? This is Shaylee, our only little female, and she is already taken, but she's a black masked fawn too. And then we have our little boy, Benny. Benny is a black masked fawn. But only on one side, because he's got a white face on the other side. And he's available. All of our boys are available. And they'll be one week old tomorrow. And they're all very healthy. Just swimming around the whelping bed like little tadpoles. Mama's doing great. She had no complications. All the babies were whelped here at home. Just me and her. It was Sheba's first litter. Jericho is the dad. This is his second litter. They're AKC registered. Mom and dad are both been uh, 
DNA tested for the genetic defects that Boston's carry, and they're clear. You come right there, baby. And they're just doing wonderful this morning. So, uh, I'm in Lowell, Arkansas. If anyone is interested in one of these boys, please send me a message. Uh, contact me somehow. Um, go to my website, bogansbostons.com. There's a puppy application. And, and uh, the way I do everything is right there on the website. Or you can go to the Good Dog website. And we're listed there, too, under Bogans Bostons. And uh, if you're local, give me a call. Come by and see them in person. They're doing really great, and uh, I promise you won't be disappointed. They're just beautiful black mass fawn babies. So, anyway, we're looking, hoping to have a couple more litters. One with Delilah, my blue and white girl. She should be next uh, for breeding, hopefully in the month of March. And then uh, Ray Ray should be ready to breed in May. And she's our black and white girl. So I'm probably going to be looking outside for a stud for Ray Ray. I know I am. I've already got one lined up. So we're going we're gonna to plan a litter of all black and whites. And I'm not sure yet with Delilah. Last time she had a litter with uh, Jericho and they were beautiful babies. But she is a blue and white girl and I'm wondering if uh, there's enough interest in uh, uh, blue and white puppies. We could go for an outside stud for a whole litter of blue and white Boston babies. So I'm still thinking on that one. But anyway, this is what they're doing mama she just stays right with them she's a good mama she's been coming out more often but she doesn't stay out very long she probably will this next week she'll get to where she wants to take longer breaks and be with the rest of the pack and uh, if the temperatures warm up it's really cold outside she might actually like to stay outside for a while Instead of just running out and right back in. Look at that little froggy butt. <laughs> oh, lift your head up, babe. Let us see them babies. We want to see them babies. Anyway, somebody contact me.